Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex and welcome to the big 3-0 on Will and Nilly Night, episode 30 already. Oh, I can't believe it, it doesn't seem 5 minutes ago since we started, how time flies. In the last episode we started making our way through the Residence of Evil. We had a bit of a tough fight here when we fought some Hell Mages and other stuff like that. What did we fight last? I've literally just recorded it and I forgot what we fought. Ah, oh, it was them rat wolves, wasn't it? And we fought a big rat wolf. And they're all freaks, but we killed them, so it's alright. In this episode, oh, hopefully we'll actually get onto the hell chest in this episode. Because I'm really eager to see what that holds. We've also got a lot of hell mushrooms to fight, which is, should be quite easy. And we've got Polo Polyporus and Spectre as side quest to complete. So we'll see, hopefully we'll get all the way through this um, first residence of evil dungeon. And then in the next episode, we can start on the second one. But we'll see. We'll get through whatever we can. So let's get on with it, really, yeah. Ooh, a lever. Residence of Evil 2 gate lever. Ooh, let's use that. I think I must open the gate for that. Oh, it's still there. I, don't, I thought the portal might move, but it hasn't. Do, do, do. Right, so we must have accessed something further on. Um, I, no, we're going the wrong way. Great stuff, Alex. <laughs> Already, Alex is going the wrong way. Who'd have thought that? Come on, for God's sake, Arthur, run, man! There's mushrooms to cut up and eat or kill. I'd definitely kill them. They're, they're the most stupid enemies I actually... Ooh, barrels and stuff. We'll take that, thank you. We can use that for potions if we need to. And we'll look in the... Ah, nickels. We have picked up so many nickels in this episode. We should definitely think about spending them. If we get into any difficulty with any battles, we, we've got plenty. How many have we got? No. Inventory. It, ah, we've got 10,000 nickels nearly. We've got 9,880, so... If we get into any difficulty, we've no reason not to go and spend them on better weapons. Anyway, let's get into the f oh no, I, I was thinking of hell trees, weren't I? Or hell tree ants. Let's get into the first fight of the episode, which is some poison ho hell mushrooms. Poison uh, mushrooms, basically. That's we haven't fought these in a while, actually, have we? We'll taunt. I think I don't think they're anything to worry about. They are level 15, though. They're all the same. We should be able to deal with them pretty routinely, but we'll see. Come on, Arthur. Kill one straight off the bat. How much health have these got? Oh, they've got 450, which is not that bad, but it's also not that good. I'm not worried about these. Me? Worried about an enemy? No. Yeah. You just save your... Yeah. I didn't think there was any point using Sacred Fire against that one, simply because it had already been damaged by Idril and Arthur. We'll save Sacred Fire for a very own... One of them can be treated. Oh, is that magic defense? I bet that is magic defense, isn't it? That better not be magic defense. Oh, that's magic protection. Great stuff. <laughs> why? Oh, why? Okay, it's all right. Arthur, it's gonna have to be you that steps up to the plate this time. Idril's attacks have been rendered almost useless by these hell mushrooms. So Arthur, you're definitely gonna have to step up. I'm pr I think she'll probably actually still be able to do some decent damage. Yeah, 248. <laughs> they've, it's not, they're not that protected from the magic, are they, really? Right, you go and deal with that one. Sir Dick, make yourself useful. Okay, and it's ran straight past him because, once again, Arthur has taunt on and I forgot. We don't need to use Split and Strike, we'll just normal attack. Because it heals him as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, attack from range, please. Uh, 101 damage. Sweet. 103. We can attack again. Oh, we can keep attacking. Idril, come on. Clear this for your own. I oh, know she can't. Guinevere's actually going to focus on this one over here. Just to help Arthur out a little bit. She's actually doing more attack than Arthur. Um, damage than Arthur does. And this thing's got magic protection on. That tells you a lot about how powerful Guinevere is. Can we hammer smash? Can we just normal attack then? He's killed something. Oh, well done, Sir Dick. I didn't. I don't know why. I, just didn't, I didn't think he was that dead. 
And this one's dodging Arthur's attacks, which is great, isn't it? Can we tidy now? We're not close enough to tidy shot. We'll have to tidy shot from over here. Ah, good stuff. You know, that was easy. That was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. At least I didn't get trees and mushrooms mixed up. Who'd do that? What an idiot, right. Now, um, pick these up as well, please. Red shroom, nickels. All this stuff, apart, well, the nickels can't be, but the red shrooms and stuff can be used for potions. We've got plenty of potions, though, as it stands. If we need them all, we'll definitely be fine. Right, so we have a choice at this stage. We can either head down here, where the next portal is to the Residence of Evil 2. We've also got Polyporus down here and two Hell Mushrooms. The Hell Mushrooms are not a worry. We've just dealt with them pretty easily. We'll have to see what that is, but we'll find out. Or we can head through here. We've got Hell Mushrooms. We've got four more Hell Mushrooms, which is going to be fine. But it's after that what I'm worried about. We've got some Hell Majors, some Hell Warriors, and Spectre. We don't know what that holds. We don't know how difficult that's going to be. So my thinking is, we've also got the chest up there. So we'll save that for last. It makes sense with the portal being there. But before that, let's go and take out these mushrooms and hopefully deal with them. If we've got them to deal with in the next episode, them hell mushrooms and polyporous, that's fine. But hopefully in this episode, we'll be able to clean up this area here. Right, so let's get on with that. I'm probably going to go the wrong way now. Oh, barrel. And we have golden dust. I don't know where he's put that, but yeah. Arthur's got a bit of gold dust. Right, this should be routine. The last one was definitely routine against these guys. So, I'm not worried at all against these mushrooms. Right, you just start attacking, please, Arthur. We'll taunt oh, simply because it increases Arthur's health, but we don't really need to. No, now we're out of range. Move up, actually, because I think that one will be dead pretty quickly. Yeah. Moved all our characters up, and Serdic's still going to be out of range, isn't he, completely? Can you get... No, you can't. Okay. Guinevere's in your way, fair enough. And the dicks have already put magic protection on. Stop doing that! Guinevere, you know Guinevere's our most useful one. Please just let her kill you. You're literally just delaying, delaying your demise. By a few turns. I think Idril's going to deal with this one now, actually. Yes, she has done. Lovely jubbly. And we've got a traffic jam, which is absolutely marvellous, isn't it? Okay, just normal attack. Stop! He's dodged it. Lovely. Why does everything dodge our attack? It's so infuriating. So that it can deal with that one next turn. In fact, no, it'll run past him, won't it? Because we've taunted. And this one will do the same. Okay. Arthur, just start on one of them. We'll start on one and make our way around. I don't think these attacks are going to be nothing. Are going to be anything you can't deal with. He's got so much health that a few mushrooms are not a worry at all. We've almost killed that one. Guinevere can use sacred fire on... We'll use it on the one at the back because then... Yeah, it's not done that much damage because it's got magic protection on. But Serdic can also hammer smash this one and hopefully do... So. Yes. Good stuff. He has done. He's done some good damage there, to be fair to him. So that one's almost dead. This one's took some... De well, that one's almost dead as well. That one's got half life left. We've got one at full health, but we'll soon deal with that. We'll soon see to that, won't we? We'll soon end that life. Right, okay. And Tidy Shot should finish that off. And it has done. Can we, oh, we can attack again. Nice. We'll, you know what? We'll try and kill the one that's already damaged. And she has done. And now there is one single mushroom. There's one hell mushroom sitting on the wall. One. Oh. There was one hell mushroom. And Gwenevia made it fall. Whatever. Red shroom, red shroom, red shroom, ghost shroom, nickels, and nickels. I think magic protection must have run out for it because Guinevere definitely slaughtered that. It was glorious, wasn't it? Seeing that mushroom electric and no, I'm out. I'll, I'll I'll leave it. I'll leave it alone. Right. Okay. Can we even get in? Oh, we can't even get in here. Damn. Where's the key? Have we missed the key? 
Yeah, you know what? I've got a feeling we've not missed the key. I've got a feeling the key might be in here. If not, though, and we have missed the key, I will find that off camera between this and episode 31. Right. Can we even get in here? Oh, what the hell? Where's the keys? Okay. Well, it seems like we've only got one choice of where to go, doesn't it? It seems like we are going... Oh, we've, we've left a bag. It seems like my plan has gone absolutely to pot, and instead we are going to have to head to the Residence of Evil 2. The keys may be in there, they may not. We have no idea. To, ah, hang on. Whenever there is something to say. It is clear to me that our enemies don't want us to find the heart of Excalibur. I can't believe that a single sword can be so powerful that the servants of darkness are afraid of it. Excalibur conducts the power of the gods of light. That is why no servant of darkness can come close to its blade or its heart. All they can do now is protect this place and not let us pass, and all we can do now is move forward despite their efforts. If they cannot come close to the stone, they cannot take it either. Let's get moving. Yep, yeah, that's just a reference to what we're currently doing. We are currently, once again, trying to find the other half of Excalibur, which is meant to be in here somewhere, but we haven't found it just yet. Right, so we've got some mushrooms here. So two hell mushrooms and polyporous. So let's quickly dispatch the mushrooms and we'll see what else we're dealing with. I think we'll definitely taunt here because we don't know how powerful this guy's going to be. Right, Arthur's move, made his move for some reason. I don't know why. Um, you just... Oh, we're out of range. Great. You tidy shot over there, please. Okay, you can't because you can't be seen. Oh, it's a big mushroom. It's a big mushroom. Absolutely great. And what's even worse is that Guinevere's attack, attacks are going to be useless against it because it's put magic protection on already, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Of course it has. <sighs> you know what? These mushrooms are just a hindrance more than anything. They are just an absolute pain in the backside. Right, now they've all put magic protection on, which is rubbish, isn't it? Right, Arthur, you... Stop dodging! I think we'll try and stun the big one with uh, Midril. I think that'll be the plan. <laughs> God, Arthur laid into that one, didn't he? Right, you shoot that. Right, we've got one of the small ones down, which is fine. We can't stun the other one yet, because simply because it's not in range. It will be in a second, though. That is perfect. That is going to be completely fine for when Idril stuns it. Can you do that any damage still? 102, that'll do, I guess. Still got 348 life, which is pretty crap, but oh well. Serdic normal, how much health has this thing actually got? I feel like it'll be a lot. Oh, it's 7,725. <sighs> what a freak. Yeah, normal attack that one, let's get rid of that one first. I was just thinking about what to do. Another boss fight, you say? How many boss fights have we had in the last few episodes? Quite a few. Oh, we're just out of range. Um, quite a few. This is just another one. Please stun that. Why? We need it stunned, please. Yes, it's stunned. Good, good. It's worked. For a second there, I thought it completely failed, but it's not, so I'm happy. Right, kill that with lightning strike. Oh, don't, because, yeah, fair enough. They've got magic protection on. Not much we can do about that. Hammer smash! Oh, nice. 300 damage nearly is pretty sweet. Stop dodging it, you stupid mushroom thingy. Ugh. Right, tidy shot that. We'll have to leave that for now. Oh, he's dodged it again. That is infuriating. The tidy shot is pretty much the thing that's going to do most damage. Well, over this is... Oh, no. Magic protection's come off. Unlucky. Uh, she only managed to deliver 495 damage, though. That sounds like a lot, but for Guinevere, that's not that much at all. Right, kill him below. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll keep wearing him down. Yeah, let's get shield wall on, actually. You just normal attack that one, because that'll kill it. Good stuff. And then normal attack that one as well. The big one. Oh, for God's sake. Stop bloody dodging. Everything we chuck at this. Oh, he just dodges and it's infuriating me. 
Done it again. Done it again. You know what? I'm going to jump in the game myself and punch him in the face. Because it's really winding me up now. How he's dodging every single thing we throw at him. Um, right, we're going to have to move into range, aren't we? Oh, we already were in range. Right, stun. Is he stunned? He is stunned. He's not dodged that, thank goodness. Now we really do need to do him some decent damage. We've got to start putting this guy in trouble. 590 is nice. Okay. Oh, we can attack again. Yay. Oh. It's winding me up now. It is really winding me up because he's dodging absolutely everything. And it's infuriating. Just stop dodging things, please. It'll be nicer for everybody. You're just delaying your inevitable downfall. You know, Arthur's got to this stage and he's thinking, is it really worth it? Do we need such a powerful... Well, we've got a dragon to fight, so maybe it is, actually. Normal attack. <laughs> Oof. That was just a normal attack. That was not Sacred Fire or Lightning Strike. And she did 808 damage. I mean, get magic protection on for your own sake. Because Id Idril, Guinevere is absolutely taking you to the cleaners here. Okay, that's fine. We've done about 200 damage just under there. We've still got Shield Wall on. Oh, he's not stunned anymore, is he? Hopefully, um, Idril will be able to stun him once again. Oh, no, she can't. She's going to have to wait till next turn to try and stun him again. So oh. He's dodged it. I can't believe he keeps doing that on Tidy Shot. Can you stop doing that, please? Can we attack again? Nope. Sacred Fire? Oh, we could do some damage here. Oh, no, we can't. We do 600, which is okay, but it's not not on the level of last turn, is it? When we were just... Guinevere was up for it. She was laying into him. He's only got 1,100 damage left, though, so... I don't think he's going to beat us at this stage. We'll get Arthur's shield wall on just in case. Idril will attempt to stun him if she stuns him here. Oh, no, he's dodged it. He's not dodged anything in this fight, has he? Oh, just... Ugh. I'm trying not to swear here. But he's really annoying me. Right, move forward. Lightning strike, please. Oh, she, she's almost finished him off here because he's only got 381 left. After Guinevere did 700 damage over. Oh, 70 left. Getting nervous, are you big mushroom? Getting nervous, you giant freak. You should be because Arthur uh, just had his attack dodged again. Oh, 37. Oh. Thank you, Idril. He's not going to dodge, dodge this one, is he? No, he's not. We've all got a nice bit of XP from that as well. That's going to go quite a way, I think, to leveling us up once again. We'll have a look in a second. Right, how, what, I'm just thinking, what time are we on in this video? Oh, we picked up a helmet. Sweet, let's have a look at that. Artemis helmet, I believe, we picked up. Is that, oh, no, we have to be a ranger to wear that. So that'd be, we've currently got a level 10 helmet on. And this is level 16. That is so much better. Thank you. And that is plus 1,836 health for Idril, which is marvellous. Plus 22 armour. Plus 4% critical chance and plus 10 intellect. So that's absolutely incredible. A southern goddess known for her beauty and brilliant archery once owned this helmet. After a long search, the elves were able to take possession of it and make it a relic of theirs. The helmet possesses truly divine magic properties. You know what? I don't care because it's incredible. So that's all I'm really bothered about. How far have we... are we off for level? Oh, we're almost there, look. We've almost leveled up again. We've got the 47,000 of the 51. So that's nice. Hopefully we'll be able to do that in a coming fight. And I think this is a pretty suitable place to end this episode. We are making slow progress, I know, in the residence of evil. 
We're making, we're slowly getting though towards the heart of Excalibur, and we will continue that in the Residence of Evil 2 in the next episode. We've also got a little bit to tidy up once we can around here in the original Residence of Evil. But thank you very much for watching this episode. Hit that like button to see more Willy Nil and I, and subscribe as well. And I will see you in episode 31.